Okay sports fans, big one today, I get right to the point, we got just the generic uh, one horsepower industrial motor, uh, three phase motor here sitting on the bench. We have it connected uh, to our Tesla inverter. We have the IGBT drive connector and the uh, current sensor connector from the Tesla inverter. Uh, connected to our logic board and we are uh, running in in open loop mode at the minute putting uh, 5 hertz into the system so here on the oscilloscope you'll be able to see the waveform synthesis as it's been fed to the mo mo motor <laughs> you can tell I'm excited um, it takes a lot of juice to run these Tesla IGBT drivers. I can see why they ran them directly from the um, the 12 volt line. If you look at our power supply here, uh, my problem initially when I was trying this was I was current limiting on one channel. So I got two channels set up now feeding almost two amps uh, to the IGBT drivers. Now we're running at 8.8 .8 kilohertz here. And I don't know if you'll be able to hear it from the power supply and me talking, but I'll move the microphone nearer. I don't know if you were able to hear that, but there is a definite 8.8 .8 kilohertz um, sound coming from the inverter. Uh, so we're just running from a very low DC bus at the minute, just with a bench power supply here set to... Uh, what is about 20 volts we're drawing about 200 milliamps just to turn the motor over here uh, so yeah kind of major milestone uh, to actually get to be able to control the uh, the Tesla inverter so um, interestingly even with the current sensors with no calibration at all on them uh, we are actually reading some current here we are actually reading currents on the um, on the DC uh, here like they need they need to be calibrated obviously so so there you have it folks uh, very quick video for you this time because I have a lot of stuff going on today but I uh, just wanted you guys to see this wanted to test it uh, so thanks a lot for all the feedback and comments. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. And in our next instalment, if things work out for me, we will attempt to spin the Tesla motor with the Tesla inverter with our own logic board. Stay tuned and happy waveform synthesis.